Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Guess where I am today? Today I'm at Silver Hill, which is high up in the Blue Mountains, Jamaica's famous Blue Mountains. So we're actually over 4,000 feet above sea level. Because of the altitude, the temperature here is generally very mild. And because of that, there are trees that will grow here and bear which would not normally grow in Jamaica. For example, peaches and the magnolias are in bloom, so you get a chance to see that. We're gonna tour this beautiful property, so let's go. It's the time of year when the agapanthus are in bloom and they're just all over the place with their beautiful blue heads. There are also other lilies on the property. And just look at this. The stone wall has Mary stairs just cascading right down. The entire driveway looks like this. cottages on the property and here's one clad in rustic wood shingles quite quaint and interesting we will look take a peek at this a little later but before we do let's just walk through the garden the gardens are on several levels and there's a mix of plants. Apart from the agapanthus, you have so many other things. There are other lilies, there are anthuriums, joseph coats, impatience, just quite an interesting mix. So, you know, we'll just show it to you. Look at this white azalea. And hydrangeas grow easily here. the hills in front of us and they're actually hills where persons are farming it's hard to imagine that they're able to get up these hills but they do and their crops on these hills
We have come down from the terrace garden and we're now at the back of the cottage. You can see there's even a fireplace and there's a, there's a chimney. And we're gonna give you a peek of the inside. So come with us. Come on in. Haven't seen the outside. Is this what you are expecting? It's as quaint on the inside as it is on the outside. Quite an interesting collection of Jamaican traditional furnishings and collectibles. Warm wood clad in the walls. An interesting wood ceiling with exposed slats. There's a long and narrow veranda just outside the living areas with a wooden bench to sit and just take in the mountains. Absolutely beautiful. And I wish you could feel the breeze. Here's a quaint yet spacious kitchen with open shelving for easy access and for more display of all sorts of collectibles. Can you imagine a toady flew into the kitchen while we're here? The birds are just all over the place. I hope it's not too scared because we just love the fact that it came to visit us. This is one of two bedrooms dressed in a traditional way as expected. Note the chest at the end of the bed. A 
and from every room in this cottage, there's a view of the hills. And here's a quick look at one of the bathrooms.